Welcome to Vlogmas with Living the Leech Life. We're vlogging how we're getting ready to move to camp. So this morning I'm using up some meat that was in the freezer. That Yogwurst, mmm, it's making the best biscuits and gravy. Welcome to vlog vid, vlog, I keep doing that, vlog mess, day number 11. Today I'm going to be working in the garage a little bit again in this area. scrapbook stuff in it. I don't scrapbook anymore. I predict a lot of things going to goodwill. Okay, so I am starting with stuff on the ground. Basically, shopping bags. So these are my favorite shopping bags. I'm keeping them. This is a box full of Christmas papers and envelopes. We are going to be using these for our family newsletter. I need those babies. Okay, these are some more bags. These ones are not bad. So I'm also going to keep them. But although I love the Young Life bags, they're just too small to put anything in really. So those are going to Goodwill. We've got this lovely picture of dogs. Goodwill as well. Okay, now I can concentrate up here. All of this stuff, no, this I know is actually saying, this is our like extra office supplies. I think this is going to the garbage. Not my tackle box, probably Jason's. So I guess I have to save that. I'm not gonna mess with it then. And then this is a box of, Envelopes. Yeah, envelopes. Okay, I gotta keep that too. So, unfortunately, not really too much packing quite yet. And then we've got boxes. This is a Christmas present wrapping box. See, I've got a few boxes in here. That's what these are for. Wra wrapping Christmas presents. This is my keep box. This is my Goodwill bag. So as I'm going through all of this stuff, I run into old pictures or like little mementos from the kids and I've been saving those things. I put them in the photo box that I have. Just found Amelia's birth certificate. I think we'll go put that in the safe. I also find some hair from Amelia's first haircut and the first tooth that Gretchen lost. While I'm doing all of this, Rob is over at the camp and he is looking through the founder's house, taking pictures, seeing how maybe we can make his basement work while we stay there for a little while before we actually find a house to live in. Right now we think the plan is we will stay in the larger bedroom that is connected to a bathroom. The girls will use a bedroom that is close by and share a double bed, or Amelia will sleep on a futon in the living room type area, and Jason will sleep in the media room. Okay guys, I got this whole shelf done. Hmm. And really, I don't have a whole lot to keep. So I've got that picture, which didn't fit in the box of pictures, a tub of keepsakes. I filled up all the rest of the way that office tub. That one just has envelopes in it. The tackle box, bag of garbage, broken plastic drawers. Got just one thing in this bag. And then this bag is all the way full. 
So I feel pretty good about that. I still have, you know, stuff to go through, but um, a little bit at a time. So it's going well. I've been putting addresses in our book. Here's a look at the bedroom that Rob and I will be staying in, in the founder's basement. This is the one that the girls may share or just Gretchen. This is the media room where we will put Jason. This is the futon in the living room where Amelia said she would be willing to stay. This is one of the options that we had, that bed right there, but unfortunately it's part of the room that's connected to these two storage areas and it's unheated. This is a spot that opens right from the same floor for Stella to use as a potty and this is the stairwell that goes out to the parking area. So with all the stuff that I talked about with Rob today, I'm writing down addresses of people that sent me their address. Thank you. If you sent me your address, I really appreciate it. You saw me go through this shelf. And, you know, just one more day getting ready to move. Thank you for coming along. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, one addition. We have a P.O. box now near the camp that we're going to. And if you send us a Christmas card, we will send you a Christmas card. You can participate in our Christmas card exchange. Thanks, Summers in Alaska, for giving me this awesome idea. All right, so here is the P.O. box. It's kind of weird because they don't give you a number. They just give you your last name. So, Leach family. P.O. box, Leach, in Dryden, Washington, 98821.